how long have you been teaching for Ryan? Like how long have you been in education? This is my 14th year. 14th year. So did, did actually like, did an entrepreneurship class exist when you first started teaching? So it didn't exist. I don't think when I first started, but it did exist while I was still teaching some other courses. Yeah. Um, and then I went back to school in the evenings and I did my MBA um, yeah. in 2011. And when I finished my master's of business, um, I kind of asked to take over the entrepreneurship course. And, uh, so I've been teaching it since 2013. And, uh, since then it's grown into a, uh, a pretty interesting course in school that, um, we've grown in sections of it. And what, what's, uh, kind of neat about the course is that students actually, um, come into the course and they invest their own money and they start up their own company. And they run it for a series of weeks from ideation right up to mm -hmm. marketing, right up to um, sales. And then they really? um, close the company down, distribute profits to shareholders, and basically run through the whole business process um, in a matter of, of a couple months. So. Okay. So I got to ask you this, and this is going to be someone, someone's going to wonder this too, listening to this. So what, like you're telling me that students actually invest their own money in this process. So what yeah, about, so that, that, that's, that's something that happens there. Yeah, so oh, we so we partner with Junior Achievement PEI, okay. uh, and uh, the they can invest up to a maximum of twenty dollars. Uh, oh, okay. Is, is, okay. Is, is the most a, per, a person can invest. So if there's six people in a company, um, they can invest one hundred and twenty dollars, or they can That's get right. outside investors as well. But no one can invest more than twenty dollars individually okay. um, per person, and uh, and then of course you know if there are situations where a student um, is struggling to find the, right. the money to invest the, the, the junior achievement or, or the school comes mm -hmm. in at, at that point to make sure it's equitable and accessible Good. to everybody. Yeah. Cause I, you know, I think there's a, you know, that's one thing is that it, it's a lot easier to actually make money when you start with money. Right. Yeah. And I think part of that too, is that you have to make sure that that experience, cause like listening to that, and I'm, I'm going to ask you more about it. Like you talk about, like the whole notion of like preparing kids to the real world is not really valid because they already live in a real world. You know, it's kind of like, like, you know, when you're 18, then it becomes real all of a sudden. It's a very real thing that we live in and creating like, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a difference between for me creating relevant experiences versus real experiences. Right. And what you're right. doing is creating a real experience. So like, like what's something that maybe has been created from that class? Like what's something that, you saw students do what was like a like a success story that you have um we've had there's been there's been lots of success stories i'm trying to think of one that a, a recent one that i thought was kind of neat was a group of guys actually they got together mm -hmm. and uh and they had a connection with um a radio station uh in pei and they decided that they were going to make candles and so they made homemade candles but they decided that they were going to give half of their profits to uh toys for tots which is a, a fundraiser mm -hmm. come, comes around christmas time and uh they used their connection with the radio station to advertise this and they ended up i forget how many thousands of candles they sold but they ended up making a few thousand dollars for themselves and raising a few thousand wow. dollars for toys for tots and uh had quite a name for themselves and, and i remember after the holidays, um, when we were talking about everybody's holiday, um, some of the guys said, you know, the best part of Christmas was actually waking up Christmas morning, right. thinking that all those toys that we were able to buy for kids who, you know, they don't know who opened them, but uh, they had that feeling of, of contributing to society through entrepreneurship. So it was, it was a really cool experience for them. I, and I appreciate you sharing that because I think sometimes when people look at entrepreneurship, it's like, it's all about, you know, greed, but I think sometimes it's, it's really about finding ways that you can, you know, you can make a living, do certain things, but also helping. Now there is obviously examples of where it's just pure greed and things like that, but really sure. learning how to like, you know, give to others and, you know, you take care of people in need is, you know, I, I, that's a really important part of that story. So I love that you share that. <laughs> 